Hey, GED student Ashley sent me this inequality. Directions said to solve. Solve. So I'll just remind you guys that solve means to isolate the variable, get the variable alone by itself here. Um, and uh, just like we do with equations, so let's pull out a different color. We do the same with inequalities. We treat it just like there's an equal sign right there, and we're gonna to work to isolate x, get the letter alone. Now do remember when you're solving, you work the order of operations backwards, so move any terms, anything that's adding or subtracting first. So this four is out over here. Um, it is adding with x. I am gonna take it away through subtraction. Now I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides of the inequality. And let's write our new inequality now after making that change. Uh, 4 minus 4 zeroes out, so I have positive 2x, which is just 2x. I've done nothing to change my inequality symbol. Subtracting doesn't affect it, so I just leave it the same. And negative 2 minus 4, well, I'm already down in debt to, and then I spend another 4, now I'm at negative 6. Now I'm almost done, but x is not alone. i got to get rid of that 2. So you guys know if that 2 is shoved up against that x, what it's doing is multiplying. So we solve by doing the opposite, so I'll divide away that 2. Now I can do whatever I want, again, as long as I do it to both sides, so I keep my balance. Now let's see what my new inequality will be. Multiplying and dividing by 2 are opposites. They cancel. x is alone. I've done nothing to change the inequality symbol, it still says less than or equal to, and then negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and that is my solution. I know I'm done because the letter's alone, and this one didn't say to graph your results or anything, so this is just done. X must be less than or equal to negative 3. So basically any number that's smaller than or equal to negative 3 could be negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, shoot, negative 7.23 would make this original inequality true. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other math topic, be sure to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.